Hey guys, welcome back. We talk a hell of a lot about the flood on this channel, there's no secret there. And one of the most significant things that we talk about is the flood outbreak on Delta Halo that led to the creation of the most recent well-known Gravemind. However, this outbreak happens to be one of the biggest mysteries in Halo's lore. There's a lot of details about the sort of middle of its lifespan, but how this outbreak first occurred and how it was eventually contained are rarely if ever discussed. So today, we are going to break into uncharted territory and dive into some really, really rare mysterious Halo lore to do just that. Lore that I imagine very, very few people nowadays even know exists. So, let's start off with what caused this outbreak, and also, when it was caused. So, by the time that we got to Delta Halo, in late 2552, the outbreak had already evolved far beyond anything that we'd ever encountered before, so surely it must have happened a while ago, right? You, sir, are correct. This outbreak is in fact almost as old as modern humanity itself in the Halo universe. Almost 100,000 years old, to be exact. Records gathered from the cold storage facility indicate that the outbreak started in roughly 97,227 BC, which was only 218 years after the Halo's construction and the foreigners wiping themselves and the Flood out by firing the Halo array. But this seems weird, right? Considering how stringent the foreigners' quarantine procedures were, especially on the halos that were built to save the galaxy from the biggest flood threat to ever exist, it seems almost unbelievable that one of those very halo rings would suffer such a catastrophic outbreak so soon after it was used to quell the largest flood existence ever. Well, not entirely, and to understand why, we're going to dive into some old, old Bungie.net posts that contain some, uh, some blasts from the past, to put it lightly. So, before Cold Storage was announced, Bungie began to tease it with these cryptic reports done in a sort of similar vein to the Halo 3 terminals. On the 30th of May 2008, five reports were released. So the first three covered a containment failure in a flood research and containment facility named Delta Site on Delta Halo, which is cold storage. They note that there's been a catastrophic specimen containment failure, and that all entrances into the facility have been locked down until further notice. The atmosphere has also been cooled to halt the spread of the parasite, and maintenance has been requested. The AI that wrote these reports then waited for 24 hours for this maintenance, but nothing ever showed up. It then issued a security breach report, noting that the facility had experienced a security breach via its teleporters, which is how the Flood had managed to escape outside of it. To then prevent further breaches, the teleporters were placed into recursive mode, which is why the teleporters on cold storage connect to each other inside the facility and don't take you outside of it anywhere. Some absolutely beautiful environmental storytelling right there. It also noted that it was still waiting for the original maintenance that it requested, along with the original security that it also requested, and also a backup security detail. However, it then goes on to say that it's been waiting for these things for 2,512,332 hours. This means that the Flood escaped the facility roughly 290 years after the original containment breach. And finally, this mysterious AI filed a dereliction of duty report, accusing Delta Halo's monitor, Penitent Tangent, of being lax with maintenance and security. No shit, Sherlock. We'll come back to Penitent Tangent in a minute. Then, a week later, Bungie released five logs in a similar fashion, written by the same AI. The first one contained a checkup of flood research and containment facilities Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Epsilon, Zeta, and Kappa conducted roughly 99,779 years after the original reports, noting that all were operational and outbreak free. This then caused the AI to ponder whether the outbreak at Delta Site was maybe due to a mechanical or manufacturing flaw. The second and third logs detail the AI's continued unanswered requests for maintenance and security teams to go in and clean up the mess, and also that the facility is being held at 0.01 ATM slash 184K, 
which I presumably mean something to do with atmosphere and Kelvin, which is part of the facility's quarantine procedure. I, I assume that's what it means. However, the atmospheric seals within the facility had begun to show signs of stress, and the AI kept on bumping the maintenance and security requests to the point of trying to directly contact Penitent Tangent to issue the orders himself. But then, something really weird happened. So the fourth log states that the facility's teleporters, that were still in that recursive mode, had been accessed by unauthorized parties. So this means that an unknown species that had spacefaring capabilities this early in the new era of the galaxy essentially broke into the quarantine facility using its teleporters, which were literally impossible to access via any teleporter that wasn't within the facility itself. Now this species have been given a sort of offhand name by a friend of mine that's kind of stuck in the community, and that is the Meddlers. There are quite a few instances of this unknown species interfering with things in the Halo universe, but in my opinion, this one is without a doubt the most significant. Given that these meddlers managed to essentially hack into a Halo's teleportation grid that was locked down under quarantine procedures, they absolutely without a doubt must have come from a different galaxy. And considering that modern humanity in the Halo universe still don't fully understand foreign attack, and that all of this happened long before Halo 2, it rules out humanity, and it also can't have been the Covenant either, considering the first time they ever discovered a Halo ring was during Combat Evolved in 2552. And for obvious reasons, it definitely wasn't the Foreigners. So therefore, by the process of elimination, it has to be some extra galactic species that are yet to be identified. Pretty crazy shit, let's just say that this Delta Halo outbreak is a rabbit hole and then some. And finally, the fifth log is the filing of an official complaint about Penitent Tangent to the Ark by this mysterious AI, noting the Monitor's neglect of containment, maintenance and security procedures, and its lack of any form of response to requests for aid in quarantining this flood outbreak. So, what does all of this mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, it doesn't confirm, but it heavily, heavily implies that the source of the Delta Halo flood outbreak is, in fact, cold storage, this Delta site. From there, it's spread throughout the quarantine zone, maybe by consuming some wildlife that happened to be nearby, or maybe even by infecting members of the meddlers. Whatever it consumed, there was clearly a lot of it, given that it managed to evolve past the proto-grave mind and create a regular grave mind. It also confirmed that this entire outbreak happened because of the Monitor 2401 Penitent Tangent's awful fucking job at safeguarding the Halo that he was designated to protect. But the next question is why? Why was Penitent Tangent so bad at his job, considering that he was given one of the most important jobs in the galaxy by the Foreigners at the end of their days? It's not like they would have accidentally picked a shitty monitor for such an important job. Well, there are some theories, the most interesting one, in my opinion, being that Tangent actually got infected with the Logic Plague, which caused his sloppiness. Now, I will say that this theory barely has any hard evidence that supports it, Honestly, none of them do. It just makes the most sense, to me at least. Perhaps a grave mind was kept in a flood research facility on Delta Halo, similar to how other flood forms were stored for future research, in hopes that down the line somewhere, a species would be able to find a cure for it. Maybe this grave mind managed to instill the Logic Plague in Penitent Tangent in a similar way to how the Primordial instilled it in Mendicant Bias, a long conversation that essentially acted as a massive Logic Red Pill. Or maybe being alone without any sentient life on Delta Halo sent Penitent Tangent crazy, forcing it into rampancy. Now, as crazy as that sounds, Guilty Spark suffered from symptoms of rampancy on Alpha Halo that were caused by exactly that. His crippling loneliness began to create symptoms of it. So, as peculiar as that sounds, it's definitely a possibility. All we know for certain is that the final transmission Spark received from Tangent before it stopped responding were incomplete and quite perplexing and caused Spark to believe that it hadn't been functioning properly for a while now, and caused him to log concerns about the Monitor's health. 
Ultimately, however, as interesting as the mystery of what happened to Penitent Tangent is, at the end of the day, it's pretty much irrelevant. The logic plague, rampancy, crippling loneliness, whatever. At the end of the day, it was still responsible for Delta Halo's apocalyptic flood outbreak and for the creation of a new grave mind. And so, finally, what happened to this outbreak after the events of Halo 2? So, at the end of Halo 2, it was actually in a pretty dire state, and the game doesn't exactly do that good of a job at portraying that. It was no longer contained within the quarantine zone, thanks to the arbiter of deactivating the containment shield that was keeping it in all those years, and thus, it was free to spread across the entire Halo ring. Arbiter, Johnson, Miranda, and the rest of the UNSC forces, then of course followed Chief and Truth back to Earth to defend it, However, some of the remaining elite ships stayed behind at Delta Halo to deal with the Flood. Under the Arbiter's orders, the infected regions of the Halo were glassed into submission, effectively containing the entire outbreak, and doing what Penitent Tangent failed to do for a hundred millennia. And for the record, by the way, it's basically confirmed that the entire outbreak was fully quarantined by the glassing, because the UNSC have returned to the ring since, albeit briefly, and haven't encountered any Flood. At least, that's what the few who return from the ring say. So, that's it. The mystery of the Flood Outbreak on Delta Halo. For something that's so glossed over in the games and also the expanded universe, this outbreak was far more than just another containment breach. From Penitent Tangent going AWOL to a mysterious, likely extragalactic species hacking into the Halo's teleportation grid and all amounting in the creation of the first grave mind since the one that was responsible for wiping out the foreigners. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this wasn't exactly your average outbreak. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is honestly my favourite type of Halo content to make, so if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then definitely make it known down below with the likes and the comments and by hitting the subscribe button because I would love to make more sort of investigative Halo content like this, so yeah, if you enjoyed it, then make it known. Big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for continuing to support me over there. Tomahawk, Momo, Shikata, Mjolnir, Matthew, Pierre, Tony, Theo, Michael, Resnick, Fish, Joshua, Mecca, Ashton, Jack Madden, Eric Brown, Sam Grafton, Bruin98, Hayden Woods, Matthew Brown, Gareth Davies, Renegade Ginger, Fumi Goat, Sergeant Swords, Zach Youngwood, and Eric Hagler. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.